boys welcome back to a brand new video and today i gotta figure out how to get on the highway here give me a minute okay well this is on the highway but not the side i want to be on here we go and today i'm on my alternate forza account because i'm bringing you a money glitch essentially and i'm not 100 percent sure you can't get banned for it so i'm playing it safe and i want to give you a fair warning up front that these are my thoughts on it and i'm not certain that you won't get banned so you're more than welcome to go ahead and do it but i did want to put that warning out there and essentially what it is is it's gonna be like the first actual glitch type thing i'm covering on my channel and it's a way where you can pretty much control what you get on a wheel spin now it's a little bit tricky to set up and i'm gonna cover all the setup for it and how you can actually get your wheel spins in order to do this now i may or may not be able to get it to work for me today because essentially with this glitch the more cars that you've unlocked from wheel spins uh the better chance you have of getting this to work i however am on a pretty much brand new account so i haven't actually unlocked that many cars from wheel spins so it's gonna be 50 50 whether it works either it will or it won't so i've saved up about 30 super wheel spins that's the other thing it has to be super wheel spins it can't be uh, the normal wheel spins i'll explain that once we get into the glitch but i've saved up about 30 of them so let's hop over to those and i'm gonna start explaining sort of how this works and then later in the video if you don't know how to get unlimited wheel spins i'm gonna be covering that too but I wanted to put this first just for anyone that did know about that because I have covered it a good number of times on the channel. So let's get to the wheel spins. Okay, so essentially how this works, as you can see, there's three rows here. And what we're looking for is in either the first or second row, we want to get a legendary car. And one of the legendary cars that actually sells for a lot. But in the other two rows, so if we get a legendary car in row one there where the 100,000 is, in where the 175 or the Mini Cooper is, we want to get a car that we already own in our garage and the reason for that is because then when we click a on the screen it gives you the prompt asking would you like to put the car back into your garage gift it or whatever so the reason i'm not sure if this is gonna work for us is because i don't own enough cars where that option is gonna pop up very often but essentially what we want to do is just wait until we get a legendary car in that first slot and I'm assuming if you've been playing this game for at least a week or like pretty consistently and you've leveled up and you've opened enough wheel spins, chances are you've gotten a good amount of cars out of wheel spins and you're gonna be getting lots of duplicates, I guess. Now, I'm gonna wait and spin till we end up getting like a car that we actually wanna get because although we can't probably do the actual glitch for this where we get to keep getting as many of that kind of car as we want, there is still a way you can kind of like re-roll your legend. Oh, we would have had a Pagani there. That would have been perfect. You can re-roll like your legendary car. So as you can see with the Corvette here, when we come back to re-spin, it's again a Forza Edition car with our same number of spins we had before. This does not unfortunately work with money, but it works with any car. It will be that class or style of car. So that's why it's best to look for legendary ones. But say you were to get the legendary 300,000 credits or whatever, that does not carry over. It doesn't duplicate like you couldn't respin and hope for a million. I don't know why this happens to work, but as you can see, when we go back to our spins here, we still have 20 spins remaining and we're gonna get a different Forza Edition car. Oh, we could have had the Sesto. That would have been really nice. But as you can see in the middle, the 300,000 is just staying as it is. But this is a very good way to get like the exact car you want. It's so if you got a purple car, you could technically keep re-rolling that until you got your AE86. Uh, I don't know why you would. Anyways, I'm gonna do one more here because that's pretty much the worst FE car that you can get. But in theory, the way this works with the method I was hoping to show you today, I just probably won't be able to, is say that first car there was a legendary Daytona and the other car right beside it was one that we own. What we would do is we would collect the prize and it would ask if we want to then put the car we own in our garage. And at that point, oh my goodness, we almost got the Daytona. At that point is when we would close our game and then it's technically collected that first car, but we still get to re-spin, which is super cool. So that's why this is a very, very good way of making money because you can kind of just quit out of the game and go back in and keep getting a legendary car every single time, which is a little... <laughs> A little cheesy so again i don't know that i'm going to be able to display that 
for you guys today because I still have so few cars on this account. But as you can see here, we have the Mercedes-Benz 300. So I'm actually gonna try and restart my game and get the Daytona, no guarantees, but just to show you guys. Oh, and something else I just realized. So we got the Jaguar D-Type this time. It respins your horn. So if there was a legendary horn you wanted, you could actually use this <laughs> to find that horn as well. That's cool. I didn't actually realize that, but I'm going to try and get that Daytona. So as you can see here, we ended up getting the Shelby Daytona. Absolutely gorgeous car. And I'm going to show you now that this car actually sells for like a good amount. Okay, I was wrong. It's only like 2 million, but like still, that's a good amount of money. But this is a way to make sure you're getting the super expensive good cars out of your wheel spins and especially if you use the other method where you're collecting the legendary car every single time this is perfect again i can't guarantee that you don't get banned for doing this so please proceed with caution but i figured i'd put it out there anyways i'm gonna now show you the race or whatever to get the skill points to get the wheel spins so essentially you want to make sure you're in the lamborghini sesto fe to make and have the whole skill tree filled out with all your perks to make sure you're earning the most skill points here's the code for the race right here and essentially you're just going to launch it and then for your difficulty settings make sure you're on auto steering i like to run manual you don't have to and then you're pretty much just going in a straight line this race is going to take you destroy all the obstacles for you um yeah you don't even have to steer that's the nice thing about the auto steering it does all that for you and then once you hit the end of the race, just like this, you can either press A or whatever your continue button is. If you decide you're done, you don't want to do it anymore, or you can directly press X to restart and keep doing this and all your skill points will still save. And then once you've saved up your desired amount of skill points, oh, as you can see, we got 10 at the top there. You're gonna get nine or 10 every single time, but you're gonna come over to car collection and then you're gonna head over to Porsche and then at the 2015 came and just buy as many of these as you want to do wheel spins for if you want to stack them up like i had make sure you're either in the festival or your house uh and then that doesn't open them right away once you redeem it on this car mastery perk right here is essentially where you're gonna get your super wheel spins anyways boys oh my goodness no way we just got another legendary okay i have to respin that's pretty much gonna be all for this video oh i think that one's actually not too bad Anyways, if it did help you out at all, let me know down below with a heart or a comment. It does mean the world. We're gonna have the drifting tutorials gonna be the next video out and that's actually gonna be on Christmas day to help, oh my goodness, to help out any brand new players that are just happening to get the game that day. So as always, we'll see you boys in the next one. I'm out. Oh, peace. <laughs>